what today is about and what this morning's about is about setting the scene and, and AI forms the basis of um, three of my presentations today. So this one's all about semantic search and AI and the role that it plays in marketing and tourism. And we're going to move into voice and also chatbots because they are executions of artificial intelligence in their own right. So AI is a sort of like an all-encompassing word um, and lots of things come under that. About four years ago, it wasn't just a, an algorithm update, it was an algorithm overhaul. Google completely changed the way that they work. 2017 is the new 1760. This is absolutely massive. We will never ever be here again. So what Google does is um, it wants to find the most relevant, most helpful, most appropriate page to me, Bronwyn White. Google will be confused too. If Google's confused, it's not gonna present you in a search. It's not gonna trust you enough to present you in a search and that's what it boils down to. So why should someone choose your experience, your product, your service, your anything, especially if they've never used you before? And that's where your brand comes in. Because again, we're not talking in an isolated environment. We're not just talking in a world where we're talking about destinations or airlines or experiences. We're also competing with the consumer's attention against every other category of information. It creates value. If a brand doesn't make people more likely to choose you, more likely to pay more for you, less likely to defect when someone else does something new, it's not really, there isn't really value in that brand. The strongest brands, the brands that had the most engagement from customers, grew faster, stayed more resilient, had ability to do this. So brands are there for when times are tough. You can tell how passionate I feel about this. So marketing is telling people, here you are, trying to chat someone up, I'm a great lover. Public relations is getting someone else to say, trust me, he's a great lover. Advertising is repeating that message over and over again. I'm a great lover, I'm a great lover, I'm a great lover. Branding is having the customer come to you and say, seduce me. The emotional elements, this is the bit that people tend to underrate and it's so important because you can fake everything else but you can't fake emotion. Predominantly, you need to ask yourself, how can my product, service or destination solve their problems? Why would they want to come to me and my beach over the 11,000 beaches? What makes my, my beach special and why would my customer want to come to my beach? We live in the experience economy now. We increasingly value, and again, it's that hierarchy needs, we increasingly value emotions, moments, experiences over stuff. This is one of those rare occasions, quite often Bronwyn and I will say, um, just because you sound doesn't mean you should. Now the customers think because we can understand them, we should understand them. Nowadays, what happens when people hit friction points, we've always lost customers, but now it's easier for customers to go somewhere else. Um, I remember very early on when Google were doing their algorithms, there's a wonderful thing where you saw a search pattern of someone who was searching Goa, 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 Kenya is where they booked, because they hit a roadblock. And in a world where you can choose between Goa and Kenya and Australia, hitting roadblocks, really, it, it, why would you want to do that? Why would you want to make it hard for people to give you money? 